Hey everyone, Ava Pilot here, and today we're going to be playing Photophobia. And this was developed by Liberty Jones, you can find it at itch.io, I have a link in the description, like usual. And in this one, you play as a demon. So let's go ahead and try it out. The Watcher of Hell is a hermit figure. He sends damned souls on their journey to either prove themselves or be cursed to wander the sands of hell for all eternity. Hmm, well that would suck. He looks down from his high rock, silently judging the stream of new souls fresh from purgatory. He sends them along a perilous path where the souls must walk through the desert and feel true torment. Few succeed in this journey. It is said that there are countless souls remaining there, damned for all eternity. However, the Watcher is nearing his death, so a new Watcher must replace him. And that's supposed to be us. One of those considered is Jarzel Glompfodius, known by the nickname Glomp. Under the order of the High King, Glomp must undergo a test to prove himself worthy of the role. I mean, I'm a demon. I mean, isn't that good enough? Glomp is to be transformed into a pile of bubbling slime and sent to the mortal world to strike fear into the hearts of mortals. There's just one rule. Do not touch the light. Okay, no light. The Watcher. So this is where you are. Yes, you are hearing me right now. I am channeling messages to you. Sending you to the mortal realm completely unaided would just be cruel. Well, you're not going to get much done by standing around all day, are you? Try pressing to move. Good. Now try scrolling in and out with the mouse wheel. When you're ready, head to the right and enter the house. Okay. We're trying to get in. The house requires a key for the exit. You can't leave until you find it. Look at the top right. The grayed out key means you haven't found it yet. Okay. Try looking around the house to see what you can find. Yes. Washing machine. This is just a boring old washing machine. You can't open the fridge. It gives out light. Oh yeah. Look, a light spot. Don't walk into these unless you want to face your death a bit sooner than expected. Green light is the light that you can emit. It's invisible to humans, so they won't see it. Dear cat, today was like any other, really. Same old routine. Walk back and forth, back and forth. When will it ever end? I'm missing you an awful lot. I wish you were here. R. And what is she doing? Cowering in fear? Congratulations, you found the key. Really? It wasn't hidden well enough, if it, evidently. Um, okay. Wait. How am I supposed to use the key? Well, let's uh, try going up. Now, big. Oh. I have to get him when his back is turned, I guess. Hmm. That's the only thing I can think of. A human, be careful. Make sure you're not seen. Well, that's the goal. Uh. 
Each person without a flashlight has a fear bar of their head. Interacting with objects in the room increases their fear bar. To exit, you need to completely fill every person's fear bar in the house. Try interacting with some objects in the room. Excellent, the fear bar is full, and you found the key. Exit the house on the ground floor and to the right. Well, what am I supposed to do exactly? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Ah, oh, I hate that. Door just takes you right out. Oh, run right by him. Pretty much gobbled up his shoes, made him all dirty with my sliminess. And he just didn't even notice. Okay. Watch out for that light. Congratulations, you made it. I honestly didn't expect you to get this far. I suppose I should expect nothing less from someone who's going to be my successor, although I'm not getting my hopes up. Now, let's move on, shall we? Yes, sir. Oh, already we're off to a light. Okay. One last thing I forgot to mention. The owners of these houses appear to be careless and leave letters scattered around. While they may be entertaining to read, pay no attention to them. Dear Cat, Today he was ruthless. He worked me to the point of near death. But of course, you know that I cannot die. Not yet, anyway. I'm the same person. R. Uh-uh. Leave me be. Might as well do everything upstairs first. Or we can't. Ah. Jeez, ah, I hate these doors. Ooh. Excellent. The fair bar is for. However, you still need the key to the first room. Yeah, that's no problem. We'll go get it. And we gotta go... Probably have to get into that room up there. Just a boring old washing machine. Excellent. The fair bar is full. And you found the first key. This means you can enter the locked room. And you need to fill the key. Or er, key and exit. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Ooh. So, what? It's just a chair? That's the only thing I can move. <sighs> that was kind of close. Okay. Oh, the door's already open for us. Why, thank you. Okay, you found the key. Perhaps you're not as incompetent as I originally thought you were. Dear Cat, please get out of there. I know we used to have a rivalry, but if you were to die, I would have nobody com to compete with. He's not who he says he is. 
Okay, okay. Trying to see, like, trying to put together this little side story that's going on, because it's got to be something good. At least interesting. The first one was, because it was just him talking about how he goes back and forth. Now it seems a bit like, I don't know, more diabolical. Something's going on. I must say, you've really exceeded my expectations. Quite enjoyable watching you struggle. In fact, I thought I'd even give you a reward for your hard efforts. Let's move on so I can show you. Yes, please do. Oh! I'm like a person. Oh, I can jump? Ooh! I got a moon bounce. Like if you had those like, bouncing on the moon. Ooh! I've prepared a little test for you to master your new ability. The front door is locked, so you're gonna have to find another way inside. Okay? We can do that. Oh, I see. Trash can. Actually, probably this. Jump up on here. Ooh. Well, how high can the jump go? Eh. Nice. Look at that. Okay, what can we move? Table. Excellent. The fear bar is full. However, you still need to find the key. Okay, we'll find the key. Oop, here he comes. Ow! It wasn't supposed to spin into me. No, do not open that fridge. I got the key. Boring washing machine. Game over. Oh no, I stepped into the light. Okay, so we're back here. At least restarting doesn't make you go all the way. Like, from the beginning of the game. Just at the beginning of the stage. Dear Cat, he's starting to get a lot worse. Soon I won't be able to send you messages anymore. Please come back. I don't think she wants to come back. Where's the key? Huh. Yeah, keep stop trying to do that. Oh, okay, there's the key. You gotta stop going to the refrigerators. And we're out of another one. Thanks for playing. The show has gone on for long enough, and I'm done toying with you. All right, it just puts us right back here. Okay, that must be the end end. Okay, well, not bad. I enjoyed it. I like the games where you get to play as, like, the creature. But yet not just going out and brutally killing. Like, it was a... It reminds me of... Let me think of this right. Oh, what was it? Not Poltergeist. Oh, it's a game... Polter guy? Ah, uh, you know, I have it. It's on a shelf. I just don't want to go over there and get it. But yeah, it was a game for the Sega Genesis. You played as a poltergeist, and 
you followed this family around into different homes because they would move out after you scare them enough. And that was the whole point. You jump into objects, move things around, and you would scare them. Kind of reminds me of that. But it was fun. And that's it. So, as always, you all have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.